Nothing wrong. Burns baby from the outside. Burns just got a lot of heart. He seems to really enjoy running. As soon as the gates open, he's he's there. He wants to run. He seems to really enjoy his job, you know, as a as a racehorse. Burns baby at long odds is out there uh, in the four pass. Stack the pads is still in there with a shot, and they straighten away. A mad dash for the wire. It's Brunello. Burns baby at huge odds is on the outside and coming on. And Burns Baby has taken the lead at 30 to 1. And they're in the last 16th of a mile. And Burns Baby in a shocking upset. This particular horse, over its career previous to my owning him, I treated him on several occasions and he'd always done well. I think he had won two or three stakes races over the previous three years. Uh, in the summer of 07, he went lame and his left leg swelled up a lot and his right leg was showing evidence of uh, pathology. So the owner, a famous restaurateur, uh, asked me to treat him once again. And I started treatment and after two weeks or so, I was in his restaurant one night and he asked me how much he owed for the treatment, and I told him I didn't know at that time, but he could call the office. So he said, well, I've been told by two veterinarians and my trainer the horse shouldn't and can't run again. He's finished. But in lieu of the outstanding account, I'll give you the horse. You know? So I had a couple of glasses of wine, so I said, okay, without really knowing what I was going to get into. But I welcomed the challenge because uh, I know what laser therapy can do. And I was 100% convinced in my own mind that I could uh, rehabilitate this horse and return him to the track. When I was told by the trainer that the horse was finished, I had another veterinarian independently look at him and, and uh, before running, I had a fourth vet who was a patient, a back patient in my practice look at him, and he came to the same conclusion, along with x-rays that were done and so forth. So he had every benefit of veterinary medicine, and uh, the conclusion was the horse neither should nor could ever run competitively again. And I didn't agree with that. So in my mind, it was a matter of finding a trainer who would agree with me, and. Uh, give it a shot, so to speak. When me and Dr. Ghan, we went to see the horse, we took him over there, we both agree on it, try to swim the horse at first, go from there, but before we start swimming the horse, we want to take x-rays of his knees, just to see what we're dealing with. I had an empty stall, I said to the doc, bring the horse to the track, and that's when I start training the horse. Laser therapy has been used to treat racehorses for a long time, but the equipment or the systems that are around aren't really adequate to do that. Our device that we've developed, which is applied to both humans and animals, particularly racehorses, uh, I felt in this instance would be a curative approach. Nobody believed on the horse except the doc. I see myself what a horse can do when you put him in the track. You understand? I watch him every day and I watch every move he makes. You see when you guys, he, the horse was grazing? When we got the horse, he was never like that. He was a little bit nervous, shaken up. Now the horse is relaxed, he's doing it. We started treating him aggressively with laser for his arthritic degeneration, which all horses get as they get older, much like humans. As we uh, approach our 50s, 60s, 70s, we all get a lot of arthritic degeneration usually in the knees, the spine, and the neck. Those are the most common areas. Horses have the same problems, and uh, because they're pr professional athletes, so to speak, racehorses, they get them earlier. Even with just a few laser treatments, his knees had to uh, return to relatively normal status. There was no swelling, there was no tenderness, and the horse was certainly walking normally. There's definitely a significant improvement from when I was riding him, you know, in the spring to where he is now. They're in the gate. They're off. Jockey, trainer, 
owner, therapist. We all work well together and spend a lot of time together evaluating the horse and deciding how to best manage him. With Vern's baby down the middle. And oh, he's got a wonderful personality now. You know, the horse, it was because it was handled with the wrong people. Now he's like a little kid. He loves life, the horse, now. And he'll tell us when, when he's good to go, go, ready to go. He'll tell us. The pace is quickening now. Vern's been doing this quite a while and he knows what he's doing, so I more or less just let Vern do his thing. He seems to know what works for him and he wants to do it on his own. That's it, that's why he's a racehorse. He's got a heart like a lion. You ride hundreds of horses every year, but Vern's definitely one that stands out. Up into the final 16th, Vern's baby's taking a run at Frizacon. Frizacon's still there, but Vern's baby's got him! Vern's baby, an impossible win! 27 for one! Burns, baby, yes! So here we had a horse, seven or eight people said he's finished. If you run him on the track, his leg will break and he'll have to be destroyed. And I didn't see the problem from that perspective. I saw it from the perspective of what laser therapy could do in the rehabilitation of the horse. And it's been entirely successful. So this can be done to any human, any animal organism that exists on the face of the earth. So the potential of laser therapy has only been scratched and the best is still to come because there's a lot of ongoing research that is currently being performed and that needs to be extended. But the horse epitomizes what we can accomplish.